Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to try to start on my project of installing a wind turbine on the roof of my van. Now I've been meaning to do this project for a long time. I actually bought the wind turbine a really, really long time ago. I bought it back in 2017 and I was uh, initially going to take it with me camping when I was camping in my pickup truck and I never did get around to uh, rigging it up to use it as a charging source for a deep cell battery. So today is the day I wanna to try to start that project. My name is Doug. I'm a retired school teacher. I built a camper van out of an old service van. I would take you with camping, fishing, going to the beach, going to baseball games. I'm going to teach you how to save some money. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Holiday 10. So this is my wind turbine boxed up and uh, I bought it back in 2017 off of Amazon and if you've been around my channel for a while you know that uh, I usually say I don't remember what I paid for things and that's because I'm the worst procrastinator in the world. I will buy things for my van and uh, they will sit in my garage for a year or maybe two years. So this is the wind turbine. It's a product made from a company called Pacific Sky Power. And uh, it's supposed to generate, I believe it's supposed to generate up to 40 or 50 watts of power. I'm not really sure, but once I get it installed, we're gonna put it on a multimeter and we're gonna check to see how much power this actually generates. So these are some of the things that I'm going to use to get started on this project. Of course, I've got my wind turbine. Again, that's from a company called Pacific Sky Power. It comes with an LED light, which wires into the wiring so that when it is generating power, it's supposed to light up outside of your van. And then I have this uh, folding shelf arm. It's made for a shelf that will fold up against the wall. And uh, okay, so this is the folding shelf arm. Um, I want to be able to uh, have the wind turbine upright and I want to be able to fold it down when I'm driving. Um, got some PVC pieces. One will be the upright piece for the wind turbine. The other one will be the tail piece to make it turn. I've got a PVC two inch pipe fitting and I've got a slip threaded fitting for the bottom. And then I've also got a slip threaded fitting for the tail, okay? So also the wind turbine came with this in the box. This is for your battery, it's called battery tender. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this fuse wiring or not, but we'll see what happens. Um, I have other wires already uh, wired on the roof of my van for this project. And then I have a uh, charge controller already mounted in my van that I'll use for this. So these are the starting pieces. Um, I'm gonna use probably a lot of other things to help me along the way. Okay, so this is what I've come up with so far. Uh, this pipe is gonna be the pipe that's very thin that the windmill pipe goes into. And this is a desk, or excuse me, a shelf arm locks like this but it will actually be mounted the van and i can lock it and unlock it like this and it should fold up when i want to put it up and put it up like this the windmill or excuse me the turbine i had to mount with some blocks of wood like this kind of oaky rig but it's the way it's going to be for now and then what will happen is this pipe right here will slide into this white pipe like this. I'll put myself a tail coming out the end so that it will shift with the wind, but it should shift and turn inside this pipe. And then when I'm done with it, I can fold it back down. And I want to put up at night, I'll be able to flip it back up like this. 
so that's what I'm going on right now so far I'm still working on that okay I'm in my garage I'm gonna test out my wind turbine I've got it hooked up to uh, a multimeter and here's the wind turbine right here we got a multimeter right here and I've got the leads clipped on with some alligator clips and we have a fan right here so I'm gonna turn on the fan we're gonna see what happens Okay, let's check the multimeter. The multimeter says it's getting 13.7, maybe even close to 14 volts. So the wind turbine is going to generate power for me at night when I have wind in my campsite or campground. And as you can see, it's generating uh, 14 volts so I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up to a charge controller an older charge controller that I had for my 30 watt solar panel I changed over the other uh, charge controller so that's the one I'm gonna hook it up to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already Okay, so when I hooked up my solar panels, um, originally I had my 30 watt panel hooked up to this charge controller. It's an older one. And uh, I have a charge controller just like this in the front of my van in the battery box. And that goes to my 50 watt panel. So what I did was I ordered another one and I hooked this new eco-worthy charge controller to my 30 watt panel. And I'm getting power from the sun right now to the 30 watt panel. But I'm gonna use this older uh, Sun Force charge controller to hook my turbine to. So this is the one I'm gonna use for my turbine. I had to install a, a new rail to mount this turbine to. Um, it's a little bit longer than the other rails, but it gives me some extra uh, length on the end. Okay, so what I came up with is this is my foldable mounting bracket or mounting stand for the wind turbine. And uh, I'll be able to uh, flip it up when I want to mount the turbine. It'll go down to this pipe and then when I'm driving, I'll be able to flip it down. And I plan to get myself some kind of strap, strap around here, maybe Velcro or a bungee. That way it doesn't rattle around so much, but it is a, locking mechanism here when it's up and just press this to unlock it and fold it down so that's what i have going on on the outside so let's take a look at what i did to mount and stow the turbine inside the van okay so this is the back of my van this is where i keep my luggable loo it's based in my bathroom in my garage but on the wall right here i mounted this pipe turbine will slip down in here this is the tail fin that I have to attach to the turbine when I put it up but I made a little hook right here and I just hook my tail fin onto that hook and then for the turbine to store it while I'm driving is what I do is I just stick this down into this pipe slide it in there and that's where my turbine goes while I'm driving down the road so this is how i mount the turbine when i get to my campsite at night when i want to generate some power i've already attached the tail fin to it i have to do that before i take it and put it in and uh, i'll just slide it in here And then all I have to do is 
plug in my wires right here to these plugs. And well, I have all the wiring hooked up. Um, this is my third day working on this project. Um, I'm ready to test out the wind turbine to see if it's getting power to my charge controller and then check to see if it's sending power to my battery. What I have set up is I put a fan up on top of the van and we're gonna turn on the fan and we're gonna check to see if it's getting power from the wind turbine to the charge controller and then we'll check to see if it's getting power from the charge controller to the battery. Okay, so now I'm gonna check the charge controller. The light is on on my charge controller. It says charging, so there is power going to the charge controller. Now let's check the battery. So I have my positive lead hooked with an alligator clip going to my multimeter and negative going to my negative lead of my multimeter. My multimeter right now says that it's generating Oh, somewhere around 11 volts. If it was a stronger wind, it's fluctuating down to 10 volts. If it was a stronger wind, you probably produce more. Again, it's just the fan. It's got it turning. Okay, so there you have it. It is generating power. And um, one thing about this wind turbine is that I won't be using the wind turbine when I'm trying to do stealth camping. Uh, that would definitely give it away that you're stealth camping. And um, I'm only going to be using this wind turbine when I'm camping in a campground. Or more importantly, be using it at night when you don't have sunlight to... Uh, provide sunlight and electricity through your solar panels i have wind turbines so if there's a wind or a breeze i can put up the wind turbine and at night i can be uh, generating some power to charge my batteries okay i want to talk briefly about cost uh i went back and i found the receipt to my wind turbine when i purchased this off of amazon in 2017 i paid 54 dollars for the turbine with the propeller and some wires that come with the wiring harness and then i probably have about 25 dollars in pvc pipe parts and that's looking at about $75 altogether. And then I had to buy the shelf arm. It's a locking arm. It comes in a set of two. That costs about another $19, $20. So overall, I'm looking about $100 for this wind turbine that I built. Um, now, if you were to buy a factory built wind turbine like this, it would cost you probably about $300. So I'm guessing that I saved about $200 in building the wind turbine myself. It doesn't look pretty, but you know, it works. It's only gonna be out at nighttime and nobody's really gonna see it because it will be out at night. So anyway, that's uh, what I have for cost. Well, that's about it for this video. The last thing that I have to do is I have to connect um, the positive and negative wires from my charge controller to my battery. I'm just gonna crimp on some connectors to connect it to my battery. And uh, hopefully you learned something. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Hopefully you liked the video. If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. That would help me out a lot. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Um, some upcoming videos that I'm going to make uh, are I'm going to mount an outdoor motion light on the outside of my van on that rack. And then I'm also going to do some stealth camping videos between now and March. In March, the first week of March, I plan to go to Arizona. I'm going to take my van to Arizona and I'm going to watch uh, Oakland A's baseball spring training games. And I'm going to make videos there every day I'm there. I'll post them for you guys to check out. I'll show you some of the uh, ballparks that some other teams play in, in the Phoenix area of Arizona. So those are some things that you have to look forward to in my upcoming videos. Until next time, thanks for watching my video.